reason they want secrecy is because they're doing evil. Evil is done under the cover of darkness. Good works are done in the sunshine. That in this day and age when we need a new world order when it comes to our own State Department related agencies? What is at stake is more than one small country. It is a big idea, a new world order, where diverse nations are drawn together in common cause to achieve the universal aspirations of mankind, peace and security, freedom and the rule of law. One of the, one of the reasons that uh, we wanted to use uh, the United Nations, uh, not only as an assist in our own domestic uh, concerns, but because the, the president had in mind, this was the this was a period where the Cold War was ending, and he wanted to establish new kind of rules of the world, a new world order, if you will. And he saw that as being able to use the United Nations Security Council, which was set up in 1945 to deal with disputes and to use that vehicle as a means to coordinate world opinion, as uh, His Excellency said. Uh, and so we had, we had multiple goals through all this, uh, all coordinated by the President uh, toward this general end. Uh, but that it's such a symptom. Uh, what is required is an understanding that we are heading into a new world order uh, in which there are now universal issues and that this world order cannot be organized on the same principles as we, as our customary conventional uh, thinking. The idea of a new world order with seven Mayor Rahm Emanuel should be enough to get all of us uh, moving. It is now a fact that global government is being implemented across the world. Annual secret meetings are being done every year by a mysterious group known only as the Bilderberg. This group of top political and corporate financiers meet secretly behind closed doors with no members of the press allowed. Their secret debates affect every aspect of human life throughout this planet. Their decisions affect everything from taxes to wars to intellectual property and government legislation and policies. James P. Tucker, also known as Jim Tucker, has firm, solid evidence with sources inside the Bilderberg that their agenda is the formation of a one world government, or as H.W. Bush said, a new world order. A new world order. After plans for the North American Union failed under George W. Bush, another attempt was made by the Obama administration. Using the guise of ending racism and unification, this is why Washington, D.C. and Obama don't care about our nation's open borders. This is our nation! This is our country! We all The elites want to see the North American Union, a European Union, and an Asian Union to form the cores of global government. We even see Africa beginning what is called unification. Once these nations form their continental superstates, an all-powerful tiny elite will manage the policies of the world bureaucracy. What if world government is already in place, but was put there through stealth and lies? First of all, there's already an international crime court. People can sue other people from other countries for copyright infringement and even extradite them. There's already an international police force known as Interpol. There's already a world body that meets, the United Nations. The evidence shows that there may already be a world government underground, knowing that many sovereign citizens would get angry at having a world body decide the politics of mankind. I'll show you a few examples. The founder of Mega Upload, Kim.com, has been forced to attend an extradition hearing to fight extradition to the United States and New Zealand, even though he has not violated a U.S. law and lives in another country. If there were no world government, 
Why would a sovereign citizen be forcefully extradited into a country to which he has never broken any laws? A second example would be the extradition of Richard O'Dwyer. He operated a popular link site, which provided users with access to content hosted elsewhere on the internet. Not only in America, but in the UK, and this video goes out to all my fans in the UK, because the United States government is extraditing one of your college students named Richard O'Dwyer. That's right, because he actually had a website that linked to copyright infringing material. I'm not kidding, he just linked to copyright infringing material. He didn't host any on his website. If you've ever used torrents in the UK and you've shared files online, you can kiss your mom goodbye because the United States government's got a nice cold jail cell waiting for you. Many were leaked to infringing copies of copyrighted material. He lost the extradition hearing and will be forced to stand trial in the US. Even though he never broke a single US law and is a sovereign only to his own country's laws. Another example of oppressive laws being forced against sovereign citizens in other countries is through the International Police Force, or as we know them, Interpol. Any oppressive dictatorial regime that is a member of Interpol can send out a falsified red notice to extradite refugees and political dissidents from other countries and force them into a country where they can be tortured and even killed by police of the state. Mark Stevens. A leading British human rights lawyer told MSNBC.com that Red Notice System can allow Interpol to unwittingly become an aider and a better to torturers and a murderer in oppressive regimes. Another example is the secret negotiations of the anti-counterfeiting trade agreement known as ACTA. Developing nations around the world are discussing whether to pass unconstitutional intellectual property treaty, which threatens not just sovereignty, but constitutional protections that dissolve certain liability from political activists and dissidents. Debates on this intellectual property and copyright treaty are being done in secret, without input from the citizenry or the independent content creators who worry that copyrights could be used to stifle competition in favor of all powerful corporate monopolies and hitmen that control a number of societies from within. The question we must ponder is this, why are Richard O'Dwyer and Kim.com being charged with breaking U.S. laws? They do not pay any taxes to America, they are not American citizens, their only crime was that their file sharing sites were accessible to the entire world, including America. We must understand there is already a secret world government and that we are already under a world body that puts out governing principles to the world. Due to the resistance from patriot and sovereignty groups of every nation around the world, the global government that George W. Bush, Adolf Hitler, David Rockefeller, George Soros, and even Barack Obama envisioned had to be formulated through stealth. This is why there is a world economy set up in such a way that any nation can be affected economically and can affect other countries economically. The world system has already been developed and quietly implemented.